Hey everyone, welcome to my product overview of the Corsair TX550M. Now Corsair puts their power supplies into a number of categories. Their most entry level category is the Builder Series. Above that is the Gamer Series, then the Enthusiast Series, then the Professional Series, and at the top, the Professional Series Gold. This power supply fits into the Enthusiast series, which is Corsair's mid-range power supply category. So what this means is it has an 80 plus bronze efficiency rating, and according to Corsair it's designed for hardcore gamers and enthusiasts. This power supply has a 5 year warranty, and it's a modular power supply. It also has a single 12 volt rail. Okay, it's time to have a look around the box. Just a quick look at the write-up on the top of the box. Just pause if you want to read it. Okay, now for a look at the back of the box. Just a bit more of a look at what Corsair has to say about this power supply. Modular design, high efficiency. Just a look at the fan noise and efficiency graphs. So you can see the fan noise starts at 20 decibels and goes up to about 35 decibels at maximum load. And the efficiency, it depends where you live because we have a line here for 230 vac and one for 115 vac. Now looking at the input output ratings. So you can see total power 550 watts and 45 amps 540 watts on the single 12 volt rail. Now looking at the power supply compatibility. So this power supply works all over the world from 90 volts to 264 volts and there's no input switch so you don't need to worry about changing the position of the switch depending on where you live. And also the power supply dimensions 150 millimeters by 86 millimeters by 160 millimeters. Now for a look at what's included in the package. So here we have a number of cable ties, the mounting screws and a case badge, warranty guide and safety information. We also have an included power cable. Now for a look at the included modular cables. So here we have a 6 pin or 8 pin PCI Express cable and these are all nicely sleeved. The sleeving is dense and high quality, has a bit of a shine to it. Here we have another one of those. Here we have a Molex cable, so there's three Molex connectors on this one. And this one's not sleeved. I really like these flat cables, it makes it really easy to do your cable management. SATA power, so there's three SATA power on this one. Same thing, not sleeved. And here we have two Molex to floppy connectors. Now for a look at the power supply itself. The power supply comes in this felt bag which can double as a cable bag. I'm just going to sit the power supply on it while I have a look at it. Now the cables that are not modular with this power supply is the 24 pin motherboard power. These cables are really long. The 24 pin motherboard power looks to be about half a meter, 500 mil long. A little bit disappointing, the sleeving on these cables does not match the sleeving on these other cables. It's nowhere near as dense. You can see through it and the cables are not black either like with the the modular cables, they're all black. These ones are not. But, you know, this is a mid-range power supply, so it's not so bad. Also, one of the other non-modular cables is another SATA cable. SATA power, so we have three more SATA power on this one. For a total of six SATA power from this power supply. And we have another three Molex for a total of six Molex on this power supply and finally the 8-pin EPS 
cable which can be split into 4 plus 4 and that is also about 500 mil long okay now for a look at the power supply so just looking at the sticker here now for a look at the side of the power supply so it's nicely labeled and it has these raised areas which really gives a high quality look to the power supply now for a look at the fan and the bottom of the power supply so again we have these raised areas the fan is a 140 millimeter fan it's a double ball bearing fan and it auto adjusts based on the temperature and as I said it starts around 20 decibels and maxes out at about 35 decibels nice Corsair logo here the fan grill is actually raised slightly okay now for a look at the back have a nice little TX550M logo just there on off switch on the back which I always like to see plenty of ventilation both sides of the power supply are identical now looking at the modular outputs so you can see there we have the two peripheral outputs and the two PCI Express outputs okay I just wanted to confirm that all the ratings of this power supply are taken at 50 degrees Celsius this is great to see because in high temperature situations for example where I live the ambient temperature is always around 35 degrees Celsius this means that inside the case and inside the power supply it's going to be a lot hotter you know even getting close to 50 degrees so you can rest assured that even when it does get that hot you're still going to get those efficiency ratings as always with Corsair the quality of the materials design and construction is as good as it gets that sums up this video thanks for watching please subscribe like and favorite if you want to see more